Okay guys, MB here. Uh, in this video, I will share uh, my picks and projections for uh, Friday, September 20. Yesterday, uh, Seattle, a winning day, also beating the closing line. Uh, and I hope we can continue with this run right now. But uh, let's go uh, to the projections. I, I, I'm a little bit uh, earlier today. Later, I will not have time to create a video. But there are a couple of games uh, where we still don't have the odds uh, from the bookmakers uh, if something will change uh, I will uh, post this in our Discord group or uh, maybe in the comments here or maybe on a web website. But anyway, let's go to uh, today's projections. Washington, Chicago Cubs. This is the first game based on my betting model uh, with Trevor Williams and James Tyler on, on, on the mound. My betting model gives 62.09% of chance to Chicago Cubs. Uh, so there is not enough value based on bookmakers numbers. So those are bookmakers numbers. Those are my projections and I'm looking for the discrepancy, bigger discrepancy, right? So if this is minus 164, minus 159, this is too close for me. And I have uh, predefined criteria here, uh, which will highlight me potentially good bets. Okay. Pittsburgh, Cincinnati, Mitch Keller against Nick Martinez, two right-handed pitchers. Based on my projection, Cincinnati should be uh, minus 115 or 1.87 uh, or with probability 53.39%. Okay, uh, Toronto, Tampa Bay Rays, uh, those are the pitchers. Uh, based on my projections, Toronto should have a little bit better chance to win this game. My fair line is minus 109 or 1.92 on Toronto. Detroit, Baltimore, uh, Herter, I think, is pitching for uh, Detroit. Left-handed pitcher, so... Uh, but we don't have enough information uh, from from this pitcher. So if uh, we have league average pitcher for Detroit, those would be my probabilities. Minnesota, Boston, the same story. So I would skip this game as well. Uh, Philadelphia Mets, uh, Sanchez against Peterson, two left-handed pitchers. Uh, my betting model gives a little bit better chance to Philadelphia. Also, maybe small value with Philadelphia in this game. Uh, bookmakers have this. Um, close to even uh, with uh, with uh, the fee or the VIC, if you like. Uh, of course, they don't offer uh, fair odds, so that, that's why they have um, both minus odds, but uh, still with projections, maybe small value with Philadelphia, very tiny value. Atlanta, Miami, uh, um, uh, Charlie Morton, Valente, Beloso, two right-handed pitchers. Based on my projections, Miami should be, of course, underdog, uh, but a little bit smaller underdog than it is right now. Uh, still not qualified for me, but maybe they are slightly underrated. Uh, Seattle, uh, George Kirby against Texas. Texas will start with uh, Jacob de Grom. He was injured. Uh, he's coming back, and uh, my betting mall needs a little bit more time, a uh, little bit more new statistics. This is how I set it uh, uh, from Jacob de Grom. Uh, to be qualified for my analysis. So after this or the next game, I think maybe uh, not, but maybe two, three games, uh, maybe he will become uh, qualified uh, for my betting model. Uh, if not, I, I simply put league average pitcher here. Uh, but if Texas will, will start with league average pitcher, those would be my projections. But of course, the question is if, if Joe Jacob de Grom is league average pitcher, he's... Uh, he's still uh, one of the best pitchers in the world. So uh, I, I skip this game. This is the point. Uh, San Francisco against Kansas. Uh, Mason Black, Michael Vaca, two right-handed pitchers. Based on my projection, San Francisco, sh San Francisco should be a little bit smaller underdog. So maybe small value with San Francisco. Arizona, Milwaukee, no value. The odds are completely fair. Angels, Houston, the Tyler Anderson, Justin Verlander, uh, uh, of course, betting mall gives better chance to Houston. They should be big favorite. They are big favorite, but there is no value. Cleveland, St. Louis, the odds are completely fair, uh, at least based on my numbers. Uh, Cleveland should be small underdog. They are small underdog or close to even uh, both, but uh, uh, on the St. Louis uh, advantage a little bit, right? So no value. Then we have Oakland against Yankees. Yesterday, I had Seattle. Uh, it was a winning bet, also beating the closing line for nice margin. Uh, and today I have Oakland. Okay, uh, based on my projections, this is uh, uh, close to even game. Um, Garrett Cole's numbers are not that great. Uh, Garrett uh, Cole's numbers are not that great. 
uh, he is a little bit overrated, I think. Um, so if we stick to the numbers, Oakland plus 1.5, which is safer version. I was also thinking with uh, full underdog at plus 172, but we'll stick to the uh, to my idea taking run lines when I have uh, big underdogs. But as I mentioned uh, many times, if you have the value on underdogs, if you have the value on run lines, if you have the value on totals, whatever you have the value in the long run, uh, you, you should expect profit, right? uh so uh, this is the point but with big underdogs uh, because we have limited baron crows we have limited seasons limited number of games um i decide to go with uh, uh with uh, run lines just because of this not because uh, underdog would not be a value if the betting model is uh, correct if not then it it will it will be a mistake, right? But if the betting model is correct, you you will find the value both in um, uh, run lines and money lines. And if you play plus EV, you should expect profit. I hope I didn't mess this up a little bit. But just I just wanted to explain because many times I hear the question, should I bet on favorite? Should I bet on underdogs? Should I bet on that? No, every time when you find the value, this is a good bet. Okay, no matter if this is run line, um, spread, total, whatever. Okay, of course, if you play huge underdogs, there will be uh, more variance. Okay, there there will be sometimes you will wait a little bit more for for the first win that will cover all previous losses, which can be psychologically much harder, and it can also be much harder for bankrolls, or if the season will end, this can be much harder. But in theory, if you bet on value no matter what uh, what uh, uh, what bet type is you should expect profit okay um, this is the point the, the the point is the value okay not not nothing else uh, of course we have different margins based on different bet types uh, we have different uh, you can find different edges and so on this is another topic but in general betting on the value this is the only way okay White Sox, San Diego, Garrett Crochet against Joe Musgrove. Uh, based on my projections, the odds are completely fair in full game. But in first five innings, uh, we have value with White Sox because uh, bookmakers have White Sox uh, as a huge underdog, both in full game money line and also in first five innings. Uh, and my betting model gives uh, White Sox uh, a little bit more chance. Uh, still, uh, my betting model still has White Sox as an underdog in first five innings, right? So betting mall still gives them less than 50% of chance to win first five inning. However, uh, when we compare with bookmakers odds, because uh, every probability can be turned into the odds, right? This is, I believe every single of you is doing. So you take first probabilities, then you turn into the odds and then you compare with bookmakers, right? And when you see the difference, then uh, this is potentially a good bet, right? But when we compare these odds, uh, there is enough discrepancy so this is my qualified bet for 1.5 unit, okay? And the last game, Colorado Dodgers. Uh, Dodgers are close to minus 200 based on my projections. Uh, based on my projections. Uh, so we will see uh, what kind of odds uh, we will get. Um, Colorado is close to plus 200 based on my projections. Uh, and again, I said we have one, uh, two, three three games uh, still where bookmakers didn't have uh, didn't uh, have the odds yet uh, maybe there will be some pitching changes as well i don't know uh, the odds are still not out uh, i will definitely skip these games with average pitchers so i just simply skip these games but there are three games where maybe something will change and then i will comment or post it on my website okay so that's it for me today thank you for watching uh, with those a little bit longer uh, i thought that i will make it in three minutes, but uh, I hope you got some value, okay? So thank you for watching, see you next time.